Hi everyone, it's me, Sailor Mercury, Amy here, and today I'm reviewing Sailor Moon Crystal episode 38. Anyway, 38 continues where 37 left off at. Sailor Moon decides to use the Leather Silver Crystal, the Moon Chalice, and go into Master Pharaoh 90 to kill him or from inside. Sailor Saturn decides she has to go in and destroy Sa um, um, Master Pharaoh 92. Myself and Sailor Mars, Sailor Jupiter, set my, and myself, Sailor Mars, Sailor Jupiter, Sailor Venus, Sailor Saturn, Sailor, no, I mean Sailor Neptune, Sailor Rain, Sailor Pluto were upset. Sailor Mini Moon and Tuxedo Mask upset too. Tuxedo Mask keeps saying, Oh, world's going to come to an end. And Sailor Mini Moon cries for Sailor Moon. So Sailor Moon uses a moon chalice, gets out of Pharaoh, M Master Pharaoh 90, and gives everybody new power upgrades. Sailor Moon, myself, Sailor Mars, Sailor Jupiter, Sailor Venus, Sailor Uranus, Sailor Neptune, Sailor Pluto, and Sailor Mini Moon all get power upgrades. Sailor Saturn then says because Sailor Moon used the legendary silver crystal and used the moon chalice, the, moon, the planet will be spared and only Master Pharaoh 90 will be killed. So Sailor Saturn tells Sailor Pluto we've got to open up a time door and put him and put him back in, in another dimension and close the door that Master Pharaoh 90 opened. So Sailor Pluto cast his Master Pharaoh 90 along with Sailor Saturn into another dimension and closes the door. Sailor Moon and Sailor Mini Moon and myself and Sailor Mars and Sailor Jupiter and Sailor Venus and Sailor Uranus, Sailor Neptune and Sailor Pluto are all upset. Then uh, Taru comes back as a baby. God brought, brings Taru back as a baby and Sailor Uranus, Sailor Neptune, and Sailor Pluto decide they're going to raise her. And Sailor Mini Moon is upset because she won't see her friends anymore and Sailor Neptune gives her a mirror and tells her keep this mirror as a promise. We'll see you again one day. And then Sailor Moon calls out to Sailor Neptune and Sailor Uranus and Sailor Pluto but they're gone. After this, Serena, myself, Ray, Lita, Mina, and we were all talking about what activities we're going to be doing at school, what classes we're going to be taking. And then Reading has told her, told her parents she's got to go home on April the 1st after a solar eclipse. So then Darian shows up and we all say goodbye to Reading. And Reading and Serena and Reading and Darian go off to see a solar eclipse. And they start hearing this bell ring, and that's where the episode ends at. Now, some of you people might say, okay, Sailor Moon Super S is going to be the third, uh, the fourth installment of Sailor Moon Crystal, probably to be subbed and dubbed one day. Yeah, I don't know when it's going to be subbed or when it's going to be dubbed, but it's going to probably be done one of these days. My thoughts is that it was very little, a, a little different you know, to how the original Sailor Moon Super manga, I mean anime, ended. It ended pretty much with the same thing of a Taru and, you know, being turned back into a baby and Amara Michelle and Tissa taking on responsibilities of raising her. And, but basically it does not chronicle the fight that the inner sailor sort of outer sailor soldiers have on one last episode that was only a part of the anime version but not the manga version of it and yeah the whole solar eclipse thing actually does happen both in the anime and the manga counterparts but the difference is the solar eclipse happening here looks more like uh, what happened at the end of Sailor Moon Super S instead of how it happened in the beginning of Sailor Moon Super S. Because, Sailor, because in the original anime version, they don't become high school students until after they defeat Queen Now Elena and defeat the Dead Moon Circus. And then Sailor Moon Sailor Star as they start talking about when about going to high school. So there is a kind of differences inconsistency between the original anime and the original manga versions of the story. But anyway, I felt the the I felt the good work. I liked the um, the voice acting, the animation work, and the storyline was really good. 
and at the end they go back to the original ending theme music with Amara, Michelle, Sailor, Uranus, and Sailor Neptune, respectively. So that's all that's my time. This is probably the last episode of Sailor Moon Crystal. I really don't know when Sailor Moon Crystal is going to, when the next season is going to be dubbed or subbed. But probably the third season of Sailor Moon Crystal will probably get dubbed soon. And probably the third season of Sailor Moon Super S will, Sailor Moon Super will probably get redubbed as well. So that's all the time we got. You know, I'm Sailor, I'm Sailor Mercury Amy. Hope you enjoyed this video.